You know, I try not to be scared to brains whenever I try and do these videos. I try. I would try, and I think I need to focus more. Yep, that's my intro. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 3 News Drops. This show, which may or may not contain a waifu. <laughs> but I digress. We're back, and we have a few things to go over today, so let's not waste any more time. Let's get into it. This is again courtesy from Monolith of Japan, and it's as follows. If you instruct focus on fusion art, party members will actively engage in fusion art. This is also has the advantage of making it easier to raise the intellect levels you wait for the fusion. Number of times you shoot, the art decreases, so it's difficult to bargain there. And of course, we have screenshots of the UI, and of course, Focusing on building up the Ouroboros. <laughs> and for me, I love it. It's more focus. It's telling the AI what to do and what you want them to do. So more flexibility and more control in the combat. It, it is always a good thing. And it does not stop there. Monolith has included even more things. And this one, I kind of like. It is as follows. When you command your, uh, your allies to gather, they will form around the current player character. They will not perform auto attacks or art. You can also disperse if your allies are looking low. It may be a good idea to gather and heal. This to me, I absolutely love because this mechanic, I don't think it's been around since the first Xenoblade. Hmm. Unless Xenoblade X had it. I think Xenoblade X had it, but as players will know, the combat orders in X's UI not the greatest. Yeah, there were a long list of orders in that command, like get in your scale, get out of your scale, focused on ranged attacks, focused on melee attacks, things like that. Focus on this appendage, or this appendage. It's yeah. like, it was such a mess. <laughs> but thankfully, I love this because it enables you to have more control, especially because if spike damage is coming back in this game, or which it is, this is very ideal because the one thing you do not want constantly is when there's a spike going on and your allies be like, just keep attacking, I'm being hurt, but it's fine. <laughs> And for me, this works in two ways. For one thing, again, avoiding damage, like I just mentioned, and it also is good for the healer in which it just gets everyone in the same place and you can heal, which is very, very ideal. And of course, we do have a clip for you playing. Well, hey, we'll just uh, play it here. Again, I cannot tell you how happy I am that this mechanic is coming back. It's been very missed on my part. Mm. But it's good to know that, again, more flexibility and more control in combat. What's not to love? Yeah, because I think in 2, you can only focus on target. <laughs> yes, indeed. Focus on target or just do what you like. Mm -hmm. So for me, good. I'm glad this is coming back. And we're not done yet. We also have another thing, which is if you instruct concentrated attack, all party members will attack the enemy targeted by the operating character. The number of enemies targeted in Bennett is displayed on the upper right corner of the screen, so if you have two or more enemies, you may want to defeat them one by one. And of course, we have a clip here, which we will have to play for you here. Also, like Hosokan, Helbo, but like at little sprites there of the meat and uh, everything, else, everything else we get. Mm -hmm. It's quite charming. Again, nothing amazing. It is just nice to see that concentrated attacks are coming back, and part of me is satisfying knowing that it's a bland that's getting the shaft. <laughs> Thank you, Torna, for that PTSD inducing enemy fight. But I digress. But anyway, as I was mentioning, we are not alone in these fights. We have our heroes and we have another one that's been announced right now. And she is as follows. This is another hero, Alexander Andrea. Her class is in Cursor, which makes use of a sword. Cut down the enemy using flashy sword techniques. Each critical la landed makes attack stronger. So the class gets more powerful throughout the battle. Now for me, I love the design. 
quite nice. It definitely reeks of Agnes because that's what side she's on. And I also can't help but look at the uh, the ears, quote unquote, that she has, or the headwear. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of a Brona. Hmm. For better or for worse, because she shared similar headgear, I think, or just kind of had that design. Mm -hmm. But anyway, the less said about a Brona, the better I feel. <laughs> but I digress. I like a design, and I also love the little description how each critical hit she, she lands makes the attack stronger. So does she buff herself up with how many any critical hits she lands? Hmm, sounds pretty OP. <laughs> yeah, because, well, there's many aspects of this game that sound OP on paper. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to love to see how much I can break this. And she sounds like my kind of hero because I am just an attack-based guy and I love landing critical hits. Because in Xenoblade, it does nothing but good things. Mm -hmm. And we also have a bit more description on her here. Alexandra is a bit of a celebrity, and despite the fact she belongs to Agnes, she is widely known abroad in Kiev's as well. Or Kevus, whatever. Mm -hmm. Thanks to her swordsmanship as well as her intellect in judging situations. Kind of like how we have Ethel here, who is very popular in Kevus, we have something similar, in which she is known throughout the entire of Ionis. Maybe like a bit of the Dunban, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Or a Catherine, because she really gives me Catherine vibes. Definitely. Look, that was smirking smirk. <laughs> and of course we have her here, where in which she's not attacking us, so that will definitely be nice. And of course, like any time we have a hero here, we also have a little video, which we will play for you here. Alexandra has a keen eye for combat situations, as shown by how she launches an attack on Noah and the others. Ah oh, yeah, sure, the six Noahs. <laughs> a joke that'll never die in my mind. Man, the soft-spoken nature and the way she's just fighting, it really reminds me of Morag as well. Honestly, yeah. Especially seeing how she's working with the squad, and she's also seemingly analysing every single character that goes on. Whether it's because she knows Tyon or Senna, or maybe it's just because she's just that observant in combat. Either way, the cool, calm exterior, and uh, I'm going to assume to be a very tough boss fight. The uniform reminds me of Morag as well. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she is in Cursor, and... It, it, no, no, it could be something related relate to how the Special Inquisitor works in, Z in Xenoblade 2. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Either way, sounds like she's nothing, nothing and no one to mess with, and someone who I feel like I'm going to enjoy playing. But hey, but and of course, one final thing I've got to note, and this is kind of related to Alexandria and a little bit not. I like how every single hero that we've seen up until now has been given a name, except for the fighter lady. Yeah. Now, this, for me, it brings up many questions. Because why? <laughs> Is this some kind of spoiler? Is it something which has not been announced yet? A morbid part of me would like to think it's because they have no idea what to call her. <laughs> or something really funny is they could say, hey, we don't have a name for this fighter lady yet. We're going to make a poll. Oh. You choose her name. <laughs> and if I, know, if I know the internet, it's going to be something silly, like Fighter McFight Girl. <laughs> or they're probably going to go for fan service, like, name her Pyra. <laughs> uh -huh. Or name her something else. But I digress. The internet will do whatever it does, and we all know what that is. But hey-ho. 
Guys, that is going to be it for the video. What do you guys think of today's uh, combat analysis and as well as Alexandria herself? Love to hear your thoughts as always. Are you excited about her? Do you like her design? Love to know. Either way though guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I have been Lightning. And I'm Alice. And this has been Xenoblade Free News. And of course, if you like this video, please be sure to like it. And for an honestly up to date with more Xenoblade news, whether it's screenshots, trailers, or anything in between, we will be there to cover it. So, stay up to date and subscribe to the channel. We really, really appreciate the love that you've been giving the videos. Honestly, it's been amazing. Yeah. So, thank you very much guys, and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much. See you later.